Hello Year 13s and welcome to this short video about your May assessment. Um, as you know, you are going to have two assessments in May, April time and uh, the assessments will be one hour long each and in our case they, that means that they will be between 45 and 50 marks. Um, since we have two uh, or since we have to do two assessments we decided to do one for paper one and one for paper two. Uh, the topics that you are going to be assessed are on the revision uh, list on the school website so you can see here uh, you have the revision list for paper one and for paper two. Obviously, these two assessments are going to um, be used for your teacher assessed grade and they are going to be part of a pack of evidence that we will have to create to support the grade that we will give you. Okay, so let's start with paper one. As you can see, we picked two topics. We picked a topic that you've covered in year uh, 12, which is structure and functions of the processor, and a, a topic that you've covered in year 13 more recently, which is Boolean algebra. So both topics, uh, we are going to recap them if necessary between now and May. The same for paper two. So please don't worry if you're looking at the topics and thinking, I don't feel very strong about them, okay? For the first one, it's all about the processor, it's all about the CPU, it's all about architecture, all about how, um, how what actually impacts the performance of the CPU, how does it work, about registers, okay? Um, you've done this again in year 12 and throughout year 12 and year 13, you have been giving a chance to test your knowledge on uh, this topic throughout your assessment, okay? The other one is Boolean algebra. Once again, it's a recent topic um, and it's all about defining problems using Boolean logic. So you are going to have to demonstrate your knowledge on kernel maps, on simplifying state statements using Boolean algebra, so all the De Morgan's laws and distribution association, etc. Uh, your logic gate diagrams, true tables, and the flip flops, half others and full others. Okay, so uh, these are the two topics for paper one. Please don't go home and start revising every single topic because these are the, the two topics that are going to be tested. Uh, nothing else, only 1.1.1 and 1.4.3. Okay, for paper two, we have again two topics, but as you all know, um, algorithms is a vast topic, so I picked a few things from algorithms, and then I picked one topic from uh, computational thinking. Okay, so the computational thinking topic that we picked was thinking procedurally. So it's all about sub procedures, sub routines, and what is uh, needed or what are the steps um, needed to solve a problem. Okay, um, and the next one is algorithms. So in algorithms, we picked three subtopics. We picked um, sorting algorithms. Um, please when you are revising okay revise what is in this revision list okay don't revise anything else i know i said this before but i do know that you tend to go and overdo it there is no need for it and if you do that you might actually not dedicate enough time to revise the topics that you need so sorting algorithms you are going as well to have to or going to be tested on a big O notation uh, so always remember that the way that OCR tests big O notation is not as complex as other exam boards and in here as well you should pay attention to the comparison of the complexity of algorithms. Uh, so you must know the different complexity of different algorithms because you are going to be tested on comparing each one. Okay and the last uh, thing you're going to be tested on for paper two is data structures. Now for this particular paper, data structures are only stacks, queues, trees, linked lists, and uh, obviously understanding depth first and breadth first, okay? 
So there is no tuples, uh, records, and arrays in here. Um, focus on the ones that are on your revision list. And um, you will see that there's a programming slash pseudocode at the end because some of the questions will actually be about the topics, but will be to program something or to do a pseudocode of some sort. So that's the reason why we included that in there. Okay, so again, year 13, this two papers are going to be used to determine your teacher assessed grade and as well um please always uh, only revise what is in your revision list thank you very much have a wonderful day